Values mismatch with clients, how painful can it be? Today I am going to talk about the decisions we make about doing business with certain clients. Over the years, I have had a lot of success with clients, but I have to admit that I have worked with clients that were just not a good values and relationship fit, but I made the decision based upon the money that I could make disregarding the values mismatch I will tell you this is the wrong way to build your business and will cause significant heartburn. Let me tell you a short story. I once had a client that during COVID was close to going bankrupt but was not going to admit it. His revenue and client base decreased to almost nothing, and he and his family were living off credit cards, with no change in sight, unless he got some help. I met with him and believed I could help him, over time I found that yes, I could help him, but it was going to be painful. I started collaborating with him, and early on found out he is a visionary. Every week he had new ideas, some were good, and some were awful but guess what? He could not execute anything on a consistent basis. He was always chasing shiny new objects. What we were able to do over time was to develop one consistent service to go to market, a great price point, great margin, and easy to execute. Over the next several years the number of customers skyrocketed, his income almost tripled, and revenues increased 400%. All a great story. What does this have to do with values, things were great, right? I started the conversation today by talking about working relationships and having similar values when working with a client. As it turns out, we had some key values that we were just out of sync. This made working with him extremely painful over the long haul. He is one of those individuals that are the smartest people in the world and if you agreed with him, life was great, but he would not accept criticism, because he knows everything, even when he was wrong. I had to figure ways to tiptoe around him. If you disagreed with him, you were arguing with him, just so you know life is too short to deal with people like this. He was not trustworthy, he would make agreements both with clients and internally and then turn around and want to renegotiate, this would always be to his benefit but tell people it was for their own good. He believes that even if he agreed to a certain deal, he could always change it regardless of what the other person agreed to. Everything was negotiable even after the service is provided. His definition of commitment was just significantly different than mine. I believe that when we make a commitment, we need to live up to it, he did not. He only valued himself, he had expectations about how he was to be treated but did not have those same expectations for himself I guess that means he is a hypocrite. Anyway, I believe that we should help those in need and treat people with respect. In looking at just three key values, trust, respect, and commitment we were incompatible, in looking through the rear view mirror, I should never have collaborated with him, we were too much a values mismatch. So, we no longer worked together, and the company growth slowed, then went backward. I really hope he is successful but I'm not sure he will be. I hope you enjoyed my story and learned something so the next time you have a potential client that you see as a values mismatch, you run away as fast as you can, your life will be so much better. Contact us to help set your business for success. Thanks for watching.